Mace Edward Christopher Weber III, born on March 1, 1973, is a retired American professional basketball athlete. Over a span of 15 seasons, he competed in the National Basketball Association NBA, predominantly representing the Sacramento Kings. Selected as the top pick in the 1993 NBA draft, Weber achieved recognition as a five-time NBA All-Star, five-time All-NBA Team honoree, and the NBA Rookie of the Year. Additionally, he contributed to teams such as the Golden State Warriors, Washington Bullets, Philadelphia 76ers, and Detroit Pistons throughout his NBA tenure. Weber currently serves as a commentator for NBA games and has also held teaching positions at Wake Forest University and Morehouse College. In recognition of his contributions to basketball, he was enshrined into the Naismith Basketball Hall of Fame in 2021. About his early life from 1987 to 1991, Weber attended Detroit Country Day School, emerging as the most sought-after high school basketball prospect in Michigan since Magic Johnson. During his tenure, he guided Country Day to three MHSAA state championships. In his senior year, Weber boasted impressive averages of 29.4 points and 13 rebounds per game. He garnered accolades including Mr. Basketball of Michigan and the National High School Player of the Year for 1990-1991. Furthermore, he secured MVP titles in both the McDonald's and Dapper Dan All-Star Games. About his college career During his time at the University of Michigan, Weber spent two years as a Michigan Wolverine. Notably, he spearheaded the renowned group of players referred to as the Fab Five. This collective, all freshmen upon entering Michigan in the fall of 1991, propelled the basketball team to the NCAA Finals on two occasions. For members of the Fab Five, namely Weber, Rose, Howard, and King, transitioned to the NBA. In their inaugural season, the Fab Five guided Michigan to an NCAA championship game against Duke, marking the first instance in NCAA history where a team composed entirely of freshman starters competed in the championship game. During his sophomore year, he earned recognition as a first-team All-American and emerged as a finalist for prestigious awards such as the John R. Wooden Award and the Naismith College Player of the Year. However, these accolades were later nullified following sanctions imposed by the University of Michigan and the NCAA in connection to the University of Michigan basketball scandal. Weber's involvement in the scandal included receiving over $200,000 from a local booster during his tenure at Michigan. Consequently, he faced legal consequences, including a conviction for perjury, and was prohibited from any association with the Michigan program until 2013. About his professional career Weber was chosen as the first overall pick in the 1993 NBA draft by the Orlando Magic, marking the first instance since Magic Johnson that a sophomore had been selected with the top pick. Shortly thereafter, the Magic traded him to the Golden State Warriors. During his initial year, Weber showcased remarkable performance, averaging 17.5 points and 9.1 rebounds per game. Nevertheless, he encountered persistent discord with his coach, Don Nelson. Nelson aimed to mold Weber into primarily a post player, despite Weber's exceptional passing prowess and adept ball handling skills, especially considering his stature of 6 feet 10 inches, 2.08 meters. In the offseason of 1994, the Warriors acquired Ronnie Sakely to enable Weber to predominantly play as a power forward. However, the disagreements between Weber and Nelson were viewed as irreparable at the time. Consequently, Weber invoked a one-year escape clause in his contract, signaling his reluctance to continue with the Warriors. Left with few options, Golden State consented to a sign-and-trade agreement, transferring Weber to the Washington Bullets. Over the subsequent three years, he remained with the Bullets, subsequently renamed the Washington Wizards, albeit facing setbacks in the 1995-96 season due to injuries, which restricted him to just 15 games. However, Weber made a strong comeback the following year, earning his inaugural All-Star team selection in 1997. During that same season, he guided the Bullets into the playoffs for the first time in nine years. By 1998, Weber had solidified his reputation as an exceptional power forward. On May 14, 1998, a trade transpired, sending Weber to the Sacramento Kings in exchange for Mitch Richmond and Otis Thorpe. Despite initially harboring reservations about joining the Kings, given their history of perennial losses, Weber experienced his most successful years in Sacramento and came close to leading the team to the NBA Finals. 
During his inaugural season with the Kings, the shortened 1998-99 season due to a lockout, Weber secured the rebounding title by averaging a league-leading 13.0 rebounds per game, thereby concluding Dennis Rodman's seven-year reign as the NBA's top rebounder. In the ensuing years, Weber and the Kings emerged as one of the NBA's premier franchises and contenders for the league title. He earned All-Star selections again in 2000 and 2001, solidifying his position as one of the elite power forwards in the NBA. In the 1999-2000 season, Weber graced the cover of NBA Jam 2000. Weber reached his peak during the 2001 season, posting a career-best average of 27.1 points per game. Additionally, he maintained an impressive 11.1 rebounds per game and secured a fourth-place finish in MVP voting. Furthermore, he earned a starting position at forward for the Western Conference All-Star team in the 2001 All-Star game held in Washington. During the 2001 playoffs, Weber and the Kings triumphed over the Phoenix Suns in four games during the first round, marking the first time in his career that he advanced past this stage. In 2003, Weber secured the 64th spot in Slam Magazine's list of the top 75 NBA players of all time, and two years later, he claimed the 11th position in an ESPN.com experts poll ranking the top power forwards in history. Additionally, he was listed as the 72nd best NBA player of all time in Bill Simmons' 2009 bestseller, The Book of Basketball, The NBA According to the Sports Guy. In 2021, in honor of the NBA's 75th anniversary, The Athletic released their list of the top 75 players of all time, placing Weber at the 65th position. On February 6, 2009, during a game against the Utah Jazz hosted by the Sacramento Kings, Weber's number 4 jersey was retired by the Kings in recognition of his contributions to the team. On January 29, 2008, the Golden State Warriors inked a deal with Weber for the remainder of the season. However, his stint with the Warriors was brief, featuring in just 9 games and averaging 3.9 points and 3.6 rebounds in 14 minutes per game. Unfortunately, ongoing issues with his surgically repaired knee led Weber to announce his retirement from basketball on March 25, 2008. Consequently, he was waived by the Warriors. About his personal life. Chris Weber has been happily married to Erica Dates since 2009. Their love story began before their wedding day, as they dated for approximately two years before deciding to tie the knot. Erica, like Chris, has a passion for sports and has been a supportive partner throughout their journey together. Their commitment to each other has been unwavering, and they've built a strong foundation for their family. Together, they shared the joys of parenthood, raising three beautiful children. About his house. Chris Weber owns a 140-acre estate in the Atlanta suburb of Tyrone, Georgia, which he purchased in 2005 for $2.8 million. The house features multiple bedrooms, spacious living areas, and high-end finishes. Large windows provide panoramic views of the surrounding landscape. The estate includes beautifully landscaped gardens, walking trails, and manicured lawns. A private swimming pool offers a refreshing escape during warm Georgia summers. Weber has also created a private basketball court, paying homage to his illustrious NBA career, 